The threat is all about land grabbing as intensified by perpetrators who grab lands from disadvantaged people for personal businesses or commercial purposes. Hence, it has contributed to insecurity. I applaud the efforts of our President, General Xal Fakir, for forming a high-level land committee to prove into land grabbing multi-practices in Juba City and Juba County. I co-chaired this committee in my capacity as a governor since it falls directly under my administration, administrative jurisdiction. As you might have noted, several incidents and classes occurred while addressing existing land multi-practices. Therefore, I urge this Agas House to constitute a standing specialized committee on land comprising of honorable members who are well versed to land issues so that the House enacts sound legislation to regulate the land acquisition and to use to meet the aspiration of our people. One of the issues is the roaming of cattle from Jongole and previously from Tarakega County. Among other agrarian communities in Juba, Kajikeji, and Lanya counties, inflaming conflicts and displacement of seizure resulting in acute food insecurity. I sincerely thank the leaders of Tarkeka and some cattle herders for respecting the presidential order and my order for returning the cattle to the, to the areas of origin. Honorable Speaker, Honorable Members, as all of you are aware, in early April 2015, his Excellency the President Salfa Kir issued a Republican order directing all cattle to return to their areas of origin. This followed an outcry by our farmers over destruction of their farmlands, intimidation, and killing perpetrated by hev heavily armed cattle herders. I also issued gubernatorial orders on the same, reinforcing the order of the President. Unfortunately, some armed cattle herders, particularly from our sister state of Jungle, have remained defiant.